Well, there's breaking news tonight on the looming humanitarian crisis at the southern border. The Supreme Court has temporarily blocked the lifting of this pandemic-era immigration policy that is known as Title 42. But officials are still concerned over the wave of migrants making their way right here to the U.S. The border city of El Paso just declared a state of emergency, and CBS's Omar Villafranca is there. This is what a state of emergency looks like in El Paso. Have you ever seen it like this? No. John Martin estimates that 80% of the people at this homeless shelter are migrants. Capacity is 120. But when temperatures dipped below freezing last night, more than 230 people packed the rooms and hallways. We're simply running out of food. The community has come to our rescue in some cases, but we need it to be more consistent. Venezuelan migrants Miliani and her two-year-old son Mila have slept on the floor for the past three nights. She wants to work in the U.S. and help her son, who's two years old. And it's not just shelters. Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez took this video at a Border Patrol processing facility. This is the reality. This is the facts. We're not even at the worst of it yet. Chief Justice Roberts today put a temporary hold on the termination of Title 42, a Trump-era policy that immediately expels migrants due to public health concerns. It was set to expire Wednesday, and there are fears the number of migrants attempting to cross could double or even triple. The Biden administration's plan to handle this influx involves more resources to process the migrants faster. More buses to move them to cities like Denver and New York and making requesting asylum more difficult. We can't control who comes and the number that comes, but all we could do is try our best. As of now, Title 42 is the policy and will remain in effect until the full Supreme Court says otherwise. A response by the White House is due by 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Nora? Omar Villafranca, thank you so much.